Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good evening Ladies and gentlemen The Honorable Mr. Suwanti is our lecturer In sociolinguistic subject And all my beloved classmates Today we are going to present the material Of sociolinguistic related to the sociolinguistics and education And There are Egira Putra Putri as the second presenter and me, Lina Sofia, as the first presenter. In this occasion, we would like to present three points of sociolinguistics and education. The first is about social dialects and, educa and education that will be presented by me. And the next is multilingual education and education and worldwide English that will be presented by my partner, Egi Raputri. Let's start at the first point that is about social dialects and education. I will divide this point into five sub-points. The first is about restricted and elaborated codes or the common codes used in social dialects and then difference not deficit related to the language or varieties of language use and then the role of the home dialect in education or the use of home dialect in education and then fourth african and american vernacular vernacular english in education and then applied sociolinguistic or some suggestion uh, from expert to the sociolinguistic sociolinguist well according to Bernstein in word of 2015 there are two types of different language that different social groups employ they are elaborated code and restricted code so the first code which is elaborated code as a language use which points to the possibilities inherent in a complex conceptual hierarchy for the organizing of experience. This code make use of accurate grammatical order or syntax or in the sense of standard to regulate what is said. It also uses complex sentence that employs a range of conjunction and subordinate conjunction devices employs preposition to show relationship of both a temporal and a logic nature, shows frequent use of pronoun, adjective, and adverb. Then the second code it is restricted code, employs short, grammatically simple, and often unfinished sentence of poor, poor syntactic form, I mean. So it could be said meaning non-standard such as using a few conjunction in a simple and repetition employ little subordination it is rigid and limited in the use of adjectives and adverbs it, it uses idioms frequently and it also possible a language of implicit meaning related to the language used in education field, this chapter also shows that the varieties of language is about difference, not about deficit, which people use varieties of language for their own purpose, such as discrimination of particular race, region, and social class, which show the beliefs of these people of varieties of language as a deficit. Actually, stigmatization of certain varieties is systematic and even institutionalized, not merely the result of individual prejudices. Based on a research in word of book related to the varieties of language as deficit that the finding shows that the only children who have a background that corresponds corresponds with what is done in school are the children with main town upbringing. 
Then in role of the home dialect in education, there are research that found three programs related to the home dialect used in education. The first is instrumental program, which the language is actually used for instruction, for example, the use of topics in or Creole language in schools in Papua New Guinea, and then accommodation programs that allow for particular tasks such as creative writing or oral expression to be carried out in the home language as in a reform of secondary education in Jamaica and the last is awareness program. This program include accommodation activities but also involves explicit learning about different varieties of the language that the social process through which one dialect becomes the standard. Thus, the use of both legitimate the dialect and teach the standard requires an ideological stance which allows for pluralism and acknowledge linguistic inequality. Then immersion in the language or dialect used in education is the best way for children to learn that variety. Related to the role of home dialect or home language in education, African American American vernacular English is also used in particular school in America because there is an issue talking about the low academic achievement of African American American children that is compared to the children of other ethnic ethnic groups which produced a term called as the achievement gap. So prejudice against dialects seen as deficient conflicted with ascribing a positive a positive value of using the home language as a bright sorry as a bridge to learning standard English. Here African American vernacular English is the home language used by the African American children and the teacher as a bridge for the children to learn standard English easier. Well, because there are many issues related to the social linguistic and education related to the language used in education, home language used in education, how uh, language affect the education of children. There are some experts giving a suggestion related to the applied sociolinguistics. The first is Wolfram, 2011. He gave a suggestion that sociolinguists should regret the application of their work as part of their career obligation. So they will apply it, they will share it to the others, specifically to the teacher uh, related to the education. And then the second from Siegel 2007, linguist and applied linguist need to get the message to the teachers themselves by disseminating information in non-technical term, a running workshop, attending educational conferences and meetings and publishing articles in journals read by the teachers so uh, it will improve or it will give more knowledge more understanding further understanding about the language used in education about the home language specifically about that then for linguistic knowledge to have an effect it will have to go beyond the current boundaries of both linguistic and applied linguistics. That's from me, and the next points will be continue, continued by my partner, Egi Raputri. Egi Raputri, the time is yours. Well, the next part is about multilingual educations, which divided into three points. The first one is ideologies, the second one is the use of minority language in the classroom, and then the last one is elite and immigrant bilingualism. The first point is ideologies. 
Ideologies is the major topic on multilingual education which inform educational program like teacher practice and students participation. Thus, research on education field especially in multilingual settings often looks critically at such ideologies. And then, in the ideologies point, there are three domain issues involved in the research which match the same as those addressed in the last sections on non-standard dialect. They are the first, the legitimation of the home languages of children, and then the second one, the social identities that are related to this language, and the issue of exactly how the home language might be used in the classroom. Let's move to the second point, use of minority language in the classroom. If in the case of non-standard dialects, there has been a long assumption against the use of minority languages in the classroom. There is an ideological issue which involved in the use of bilingual discourse in the classroom way have to do with the status of the minority language itself. Although in bilingual programs, the minority language may not command a great deal of respect in the comparisons with the majority language. The next is elite and immigrant bilingualism. Elite bilingualism, it refers to speaking two speaking languages, which both carry high status. For instance, in many countries, speaking in international language, namely English, which discussed in more detail in the next section. Furthermore, to the national language create elite bilingualism. And then, immigrant bilingualism, it refers to usually in low status, which means the immigrant languages are associated with poor and disenfranchised segment of society. It causes them to associate bilingual with give bad impact in identity in society. Hence, they view bilingualism as something which is not desirable. And now we are going to the new topic, education and worldwide English, which also included in three parts. The first one is circle of English, the second, elite laser, and the last one is English in Europe. For the first, circle of English. There are some social, linguistic, and political differences between education in context with non-standard dialects and minority languages and those in which English is a global or local. Global means global plus local. Variety with prestige as an international language. Global development is which there is an interaction between global influences and local cultures. And we need to look at the situations. First of all is look at some basic concepts in the study of global Englishes. According to Ketchru, as cited in Wardle 2015, there are three circles of rural English which different countries across the globe. They are inner circle, outer circle, and expanding circle. Inner circle refers to the regions in which English is used in almost all functions by the majority of population. For instance, United States, United Kingdom, and Australia. Meanwhile, outer circle refers to the regions in which there are originally no native but institutionalized uses English. For instance, the Philippines and South Africa. And then, expanding circle refers to the regions which English is learned as a foreign language and important role in economic development. For instance, Indonesia and Thailand. For the second point is elite closure. Regarding Mayor Skaren, as cited in Wardo 2015, elite closure has been used to describe about how people with power use language to reproduce their privilege. However, elite closure is essentially present everywhere to some extent, but it is more apparent and stronger in cases attesting. 
colonial language contrasts with local languages, and a relatively small percentage of the population has mastery of the colonial language. Then, the elite language can be any languages. Last, English in Europe. English is lingua franca in whole of Europe, just as it's elsewhere in the world, and it is sometimes defined as a threat to the survival of other languages in Europe. And its widespread use challenges the official EU policy on promoting linguistic diversity. The adoptions of English as the language of higher education as a response to market forces and advocates careful policy and planning to prevent it displacing other languages. That's from us. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any question or you have additional information related to the sociolinguistic and education or social dialects, home language and it in education, please share and ask it in our WhatsApp group discussion. Let's say, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.